Hello, all my storytime friends. I'm Mr. Peach. Do you have a favorite fun-loving dog? Well, today we're going to read *The Adventures of Buddy the Border Collie*, written by Lonnie Shuck and illustrated by Parker Lop. If you have this book, go grab it so we can read together. Mr. Peach reads aloud. <laughs> *The Adventures of Buddy the Border Collie*. Written by Lonnie Shuck, illustrated by Parker Lop. Buddy Go, look at little Buddy Go, catching, fetching, to and fro, zigging, zagging through the yard, jumping, playing, running hard. Oopsie Daisy through the garden, he plum forgot his beg your pardon. Mama's flowers are all dead, Buddy didn't use his head. Daddy collars Buddy and leads him back indoors. Now he has to have a bath. He's muddied up the floors. Buddy goes to school. Buddy must go to school each day. He tries to do his best. To learn to be a service dog is different from the rest. Buddy has a lot to learn. Trainer Stacy is the boss. He sits and stays and comes to call. She's never ever cross. Buddy chases things that move, like cars and bikes and balls. He wants to put them in their place. Now he comes when Stacy calls. Buddy is such a silly boy. He drives his parents crazy. He never stops until he drops, and he's never ever lazy. Now Buddy is a working dog. He needs jobs to do. For now he is to comfort those when they are feeling blue. Buddy knows a lot of words. He's obedient and kind. Although he still has puppy brain, no sweeter pup you'll find. He is working very hard to earn his service vest. Though he still has much to learn, so he can pass the test. Sit down, wait, and stay—just a few things that he knows. But to be a service dog, it's back to school he goes. Buddy's kind of day. Buddy's beach, his favorite place, is where he loves to play. He can be free and off his leash to fetch his ball all day. High balls, low ones, fast ones, slow, jumping, chasing, on the go, fast as lightning at the shore, circles round and thin, superpowers and never stops. Fetch that ball and do it again. Tricks for treats. Tricks for treats are games we play, and Buddy knows a ton. He shuts the doors, puts toys away. When the day is done. He wipes his feet and takes a bow, high five, and wave and shake, and he gets a special treat—a tasty bit of steak. He will get the newspaper and take it up the stairs. He may need a reminder, but he almost never cares. But he doesn't need a treat. He'll do some tricks for free, like wait and stay and fetch his ball and ring the bell to pee. Buddy and friends, a day away. Buddy, smarty pants, and all his friends are lying in the yard. Not much to do, no games to play. It's getting really hard. Buddy has a grand idea. Let's go out to explore. I can't sit still and need a break. You guys are such a bore. Appa, Freddy, Fancy Pants, Charlie, Bell, and Lily say, "Huh? No way. We can't do that." Buddy, you're so silly. Buddy said, "Hey, sleepyheads, I'm feeling rather low." Appa said, "Okay, okay, let's eat before we go." So off they went, that pack of dogs, with Appa in the lead. He's very smart. He'll keep them safe. He's such a faithful breed. Through the town and to the beach, then Bunny left the pack. He went to find his ball, you see, then lost his way back. He found his friends, and then Fred said, "Hey guys, it's getting dark. We must get home, and we are late." But Buddy is at the park. We're lost," said Fred. "I don't see so well. I don't hear much. And what if I fell?" "No worry," said Buddy. "They'll never miss us. Don't hurry, my friend. Stop making a fuss." Appa said, "Hey, Buddy boy, we must head back now. Little Lily is fretting, and Charlie wants her chow." Appa said, "Now I'm in charge. Stay close and follow me. Just have faith and let me lead. I know where we need to be. No matter how far or where we may roam." Just you be sure who knows the way home. Little Buddy, busy boy. Little Buddy, look at him. He's so fit and he's so trim. 
loves to play ball all the time, can turn a circle on a dime. When big dogs get in his space, he wants to put them in their place. Says his mom is much too tough. Dad says, buddy, not so rough. All in all, he's not so bad. He's just a very busy lad. Bigs and bullies. Buddy walks all over town and plays ball in the park. When he passes other dogs, they often like to bark. Bigs and bullies everywhere. He's not sure which is which. He really can be bossy too. Then we'll often switch. Buddy thinks all bigs are mean just because of fear. But over time, he will learn they're not all as they appear. Littles can be bullies, and bigs can be quite nice. Be careful how you choose your friends. You could pay an awful price. Buddy and Leon Buddy's cousin Leon, along with Brett his dad, go on big adventures, lots of fun days to be had. Those two pups are rock star dogs. They have superpowers. You will see them at the beach. They run and play for hours. Buddy's mom and dad in tow are learning all the ropes. Buddy learns how to behave, or so mom truly hopes. Now Leon is much older. He gets to be the boss. He shows Buddy what to do. He seldom ever cross. Leon is a great swimmer. He can paddle far away. Then will magically show up, says, Hey guys, let's go play. Buddy won't get his feet wet. He doesn't like to swim. He's not brave like Leon. Oh, no, 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 not him. Playing games. Buddy is quite the player. He loves to have his fun. Fetch, chase, zoom, and tug. He really likes to run. Buddy's beach is where he loves to fetch along the shore. He'll play and run for hours. Then he wants to fetch some more. Chasing things is so much fun. Skateboards, kids, and bikes. Cars and bees and butterflies. So many things he likes. Zoom Zoom is a game to play when there's nothing else to do. He grabs a toy and zooms around. He'll even zoom with you. Slipping, sliding on the floor, the couch, the bed, the chairs. All around the house he goes, then flies down twenty stairs. Tug a wabba. Tug a tug a a wabba. Tug a a wabba when you want to play. First you get a buddy boy. Then you get a doggy toy. Tug, tug, doggy tug. Joy! Rainy day fun. It's a rainy day. It's a boring day. It's raining cats and dogs. And we can't go out and play. What are we going to do anyway? Buddy loves to bite the rain. It's funny as can be. He jumps up and gets all wet, simply full of glee. Buddy likes to seek and find with some of his best friends. Mom hides them all around the house, among the odds and ends. Mom puts him in a down and stay, and then he has to wait. Rocky Raccoon is hiding nearby waiting to learn his fate. Buddy can find a lot of things. He's learned to use his nose. Keys and phones and yummy treats and even videos. When rainy days are all done, we put the toys away. Imagine all the things to find on a rainy day. Beauty is only fur deep. Buddy is quite the pretty boy. People say so every day. A day without a compliment is rare, or so they say. Even though he's beautiful, kind, and super smart, it's much more important that he has a loving heart. Buddy can't get by on looks alone. Beauty is only fur deep. All the friends he cherishes are the ones that he will keep. Buddy is his best self when he wants to be. If he is kind and patient, he will live life happily. It's important to be humble, a lesson to be learned. Real beauty is within him. Respect is something earned. On to the next adventure. 
Lots of places to go and things to see wherever we go and joyful be. The sun will rise and the moon will set forever friends on that you can bet. Now the days are getting shorter and we must be on our way. Buddy doesn't seem to mind. He just wants another place to play. On to the next adventure, wherever we may roam. Buddy and friends, and those we love, will always lead us home. I loved how Buddy works hard and plays hard. He's learning to serve with humility and earn respect from those around him. He's one smart dog. Thanks for reading with me. Make sure to subscribe and have an awesome day, girls and boys. Until next time, I'm Mr. Peach. Bye. Mr. Peach Reads Aloud. <laughs> Subscribe to Mr. Peach Reads Aloud.